Hi everyone, Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing Reports. You know, one of the most effective baits here in the Pacific Northwest for salmon is herring. And you can certainly fish herring whole, but the technique that I like to use oftentimes is trolling a flasher and a hoochie. And I like to put a herring strip onto my inside hook of the hoochie. I find that it increases my strike ratio and, and hookups. And um, I just have a higher level of confidence fishing with that herring strip. One of the things that's important is to get your strip just right. You want it to be cured and somewhat firm, but you don't want to overdo it. I use uh, liquid cures. I've had the most success with them. There are powder cures out there. Today I'm doing two different colors. I've got the green and I've got orange. And I definitely like using two different brands. When I go out there on the water, I've got two colors. I've got slightly different scent trails from each of these brands. And sometimes the fish will tell you one's better than the other. You can use um, fresh herring if you got it. That's always the best, but frozen herring will do just fine. Uh, the day before you're gonna do your, your filleting out, you wanna punch a few holes in this, put this back in the fridge and let it thaw out. And then when you come back the next day, the herring is going to be all ready to go. So you can see it's a little firm and that's actually good because it's going to make it easier to fillet out. I always start with a sharp knife. Um, that's number one. You're going to run your fillet knife right behind the, the gill plate of the herring. Just do a little uh, eighth of an inch to a quarter inch cut in. Run your blade right back along the backbone. And when you're done, you got yourself a nice little strip. That is gonna definitely aid in catching some fish. We'll put this into the brine and we'll do the other side. Sometimes that second side is a little harder because the herring will fall apart. So you might have to hold the herring down to get a good cut. And there's our second filet right there. The other thing that I like to put in the brine is rock salt. The rock salt is going to make the um, herring toughen up a little more. I generally will run these in the brine for about 48 hours, which is not what the instructions say, but it certainly seems to have worked for me. Um, as far as how much rock salt, Morton's ice cream salt is what I use. Maybe about a uh, teaspoon to a tablespoon at the most. If you put in too much rock salt, you're going to find that herring strip is going to start uh, dehydrating and shriveling up. So it's a fine balance and the more you do, the better you'll get at it knowing how much rock salt to put in. So once again, we're going to take our herring and we're going to make one cut behind the gill. Slide that knife along the backbone. There's that nice fillet right there. Put that in. Flip it over to the other side. And again, you might have to hold that herring a little more on the second cut. But there you go. There's two really nice fillets. I hope you'll give this a try. I think you'll see an improvement in your success rate on the water for salmon. And by the way, you can also use herring strips for lake trout. They uh, love a presentation like this behind a spinner down there deep, adding a little scent to, uh, to your setup. So we'll see you guys on the water and online.